Hey fellow tennis nerds and welcome to the Wilson Ultra 100 version 3 racket review. It's number 3 of the Wilson 100. It's a pure drive style racket, lightweight, 300 grams, unstrung. Gives you free depth and power, that's the thing uh, with these rackets. It's supposed to help you play um, tennis with a bit more depth, a bit more pop. Uh, you don't need um, a massive game to play with these kind of frames, kind of game improvement rackets. The predecessor had the dampening material countervail, it called, was called 100 CV. That's gone in version 3, instead it focused on technologies to give you more power, uh, such as power rib construction in the shaft, uh, which is supposed to increase stability. There's also an integrated PVS, uh, the old classic perimeter weight system from Wilson. It's in the head at 3 and 9. There's also a new feature called sweet spot channels, which are supposed to lengthen the cross strings for a more of a kind of a catapult, uh, catapult effect, which is supposed to give you more depth. Uh, the stiffness, measured stiffness, uh, Tennis Warehouse measured it as 73 RA strung, that's very very high. Really surprised not to see any kind of dampening tech to reduce the shock to the player's arm, considering how stiff this frame is. And uh, that was the idea with the countervail, is that it reduces vibration. Uh, it does mute the feel quite a bit, I was not really in love with that tech, but that racket actually played a bit more comfortable uh, than this one. My strong specs, after adding Luxon Allo Power, uh, were as follows. So head size 100 square inches, beam goes from 24.5 millimeters to 26 and 23.5 millimeters. So it's quite typical as very uh, thick beam for more power. Uh, string pattern 1619 to give you a bit more spin. This is a bit denser than the latest Pure Drive if you compare it to that one. Uh, so this one gives you a bit more directional control, I would say. Lux Lunola Power I strung it at, 54 pounds, I think that's pretty much where you should be. Uh, weight 320 grams, the balance is 6 points headlight or 32.1 centimeters. The swing weight I measured at 311, so quite a low swing weight. I prefer these kind of tweener frames with a bit higher swing weight, 320 to 330. Uh, so it's a little bit anemic in some areas uh, with that kind of swing weight. Very close to the listed spec, uh, that one, so it's not a quality control issue. Uh, so it's a fast swinging racket, gives you easy power. The stability with the 311 swing weight is, is an issue. Uh, I did enjoy it a lot from the back of the court. I could swing out, have, you know, create a really fast swing speed, but as soon as I got to the net, felt a bit wobbly, a bit unstable. Uh, I think it needs a bit more weight in the hoop to be effective, and that actually happened. I, I when I added four grams to the hoop at around 12 o'clock, it did play a lot better, I think, than it did in stock form. The launch angle, as I said, felt more controlled than the latest Pure Drive. Did not feel as jarring this racket as the specs indicate. I did not feel any tenderness in my arm after a couple of hours, which can be the case with rackets in this kind of high stiffness category. Uh, it might pop up later, you don't know that, so uh, that's something that could happen after like a week or three of, of using a racket, the stiffness might get to you in the end. Uh, I'm a bit worried in general that there's no real tech here to reduce vibration, and uh, but no arm pain, I just want to point that out, so it might not be an issue with this frame, but I would be a little bit concerned, and if you have arm issues, I would not recommend a racket above 70 RA stiffness rating. Uh, so I did struggle a little bit also to get a proper connection on my shots, didn't feel 100% uh, connected to the ball, I talk about that a lot, might be a bit boring to listen to, but for me that's very important, uh, there's so many frames out there, so you can ask quite a bit from your racket these days, and hopefully get a racket that feels a bit like an extension uh, of the arm. Th this one did not feel like that, but I did appreciate that it was very easy to use, uh, it's very easy just to pick up and, and swing at the ball, and I did uh, did enjoy playing with it. Uh, it was just like that area with, where the volleys were a bit weird to me. The racket felt like kind of hollow uh, in that sense. Uh, I did not feel that hollow feel with the 100 CV versions. That was a little bit of a disappointment. But trading ground strokes was great. Uh, I also liked it a bit more after adding weight to the hoop and the dampener. So my specs... Uh, that I got it up to. I'm playing with both of these specs in the video uh, and I did use it mainly in stock form. It's just good to keep in mind, but I preferred it at 327 grams, 
32.5 centimeter balance, so 5 points headlight and 200 and 326.5 swing weight. I feel like that's kind of the area where these frames play the best. Obviously, they're a little bit trickier to swing, so it's not for everyone to kind of customize, but but for me personally, and I think for a lot of other players, I think some customization will do this frame a lot of good. I would say if you look at the pros and cons of the Wilson Ultra 100, it's very easy to swing. I would say it looks great, the cosmetics, uh, when it's not matte anymore, it has a kind of a shiny, it really shines in the sun. I uh, really like the combination of the light blue and the dark blue and silver, so I think it looks great. And uh, that's obviously subjective. Has a more controlled launch angle than the latest Pure Drive and some other frames in this category where I feel like um, it's more of a spin frame when it shouldn't be a spin frame. You can go to the Aero line or uh, Dunlop uh, SX line if you want a lot of spin. This is supposed to give you power, but still some directional control. It is very stiff. I, it's not harsh. Uh, I did not feel it to be harsh actually, but it's stiff in a way that it gives you a slightly disconnected feel and it doesn't give you that a sense that you can, you know, comfortably hit a drop shot or just caress your volleys for a winner. But if you're using this frame, perhaps that's not what you're going for. Perhaps you just want to hit kind of stable and sensible shots from the baseline. And um, then this one could work really well, I think. Uh, I would also like to say that without the dampener, this racket creates a really loud and weird metallic ping sound. That's a little bit strange, so I would definitely recommend you to use a dampener unless you like uh, metallic ping sounds. Uh, so <clears throat> stroke by stroke, great on ground strokes, really enjoyed swinging hard from the baseline, felt it was very easy to swing, very easy to get um, quite a large sweet spot, so it wasn't that hard to kind of get a good stroke with that. So for game improvement, players 3.5, 4.0, I think this is uh, can be an interesting choice. I did not get any power on my serve for some reason, which is uh, quite opposite to the pure drive. The pure drive is like a monster on serve. I don't have a big serve. I don't don't pretend to have, but I do feel like when you're serving with a pure drive, you're getting a little bit extra. Uh, and I did not get that with this frame for some reason. And I definitely think it needs a bit of weight on volleys. That's uh, an area where I think it needs a bit of weight. The slice felt pretty good, uh, thanks to the more controlled pattern, uh, a bit tighter in the center. So I felt like the slice was pretty decent, especially if you add a bit of weight as well, you can get a bit heavier slice. Uh, comparing this to other rackets, I do prefer the feel, uh, which is rare, of the predecessor, Wilson 100. Uh, Wilson Ultra 100 CV, I feel like that is a little bit more stable, feels a little bit more solid, uh, so that I like better. Uh, compared to the a Pure Drive, I think this the Pure Drive offers more power, but the launch angle is a bit too high on that one, so it gets into kind of aero territory, which, you know, makes them hard to distinguish. This one felt pretty similar to the Instinct MP, but that was also probably a bit more dampened, and... Uh, if you compare it to other rackets in the Wilson line, and to say, you know, with the Clash 100, that's a completely different frame. I mean, there, it's a thick beam and gives you free power and spin, but that's a lot more uh, muted, l a bit lower power, 100% more arm friendly. Uh, the Technifiber T Flash CES 100, which is also reviewed, all these rackets are reviewed on the channel, is not that far away, but that racket felt more sluggish because it has an even thicker beam, uh, which is not. Uh, was something I enjoy particularly. So this racket is a pretty decent racket. I mean, I could not um, discount that I actually enjoyed hitting with this uh, more than I thought. Uh, some, the, even the guy who, who lent it to me, he said, I mean, I didn't like this racket from the backhand at all. And uh, But personally, I thought it was pretty fun to use it, pretty easy swinging experience. Uh, so for players looking for a kind of fast-paced, easy swinging racket with a good-sized sweet spot, I think this is pretty decent, actually. Um, felt a bit too unstable at the net, and, uh, you know, if you don't customize it, I wouldn't recommend it to a doubles player. And if you have arm issues, despite not uh, feeling any kind of harshness personally, I would definitely look at other rackets. There are so many arm-friendly rackets now, uh, the Wilson Clash, Prince, Phantom Line, and Head Gravity, for example. So, an enjoyable racket, easy to swing, easy to use, easy to get power, makes tennis feels, feel a bit easier, but if you like a bit more finesse and precision and feel, it's not the frame for you. 
easy to generate power with and that is all it seems to be focused on and that it does really well and it also looks great so those are my thoughts about the wilson ultra 100 version 3 um interesting frame for players looking for easy to use racket with free power but not for players looking for a little bit of extra finesse and touch that's all for this review. I hope you like it. Please click like if you do. Please also subscribe to the Tennis Nerd channel. I try to put out at least two or three videos a week. So I hope you find that uh, interesting. And um, if you need help choosing a tennis racket, which a lot of people need, it seems, uh, you should check out the consultation service tennisnerd.net slash shop, uh, where I offer uh, Tennis Nerd consultation via email. And if you'd like more content like this, check out the Tennis Nerd Patreon page patreon.com slash tennis nerd where you can become a tennis nerd member you support tennis nerd but you also get lots of free content exclusive content to the patrons and uh, yeah that's pretty much it i hope you have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis